Welcome back. We are here looking at the EGFs, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, August 16, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the ARK Innovation ETF. And uh, as you can see, we did fall roughly 1.44% on Friday's session, and we landed just above the um, uptrend line and breaking below this when then the 100 moving average comes into play and then the 300 moving average comes into play and 109 so at the moment it is still holding uh, we have bounced from it several times in the past and uh, bouncing from it uh, in tomorrow's session as well then we are most likely going to head towards 150 up here at 124 that's also the top of the bollinger band but breaking below here, that could open the door really to the very lows. MACD is bearish, RSI is bearish, CCI is bearish, and so is the casting. So momentum is definitely to the downside at this current stage. So let's look at DVI. So DVI, well, rally kind of ended up in the same place where we started a little bit. But we are getting fairly overstretched. If you look here in the... The bullish band, this could pull back towards the middle of the bullish band, roughly a drop of 2.6% uh, to the downside. If you can see, the stochastic has crossed the signal line indicating bearish momentum. MACD is still bullish. RSI is also is basically flat. And the CCI is turning around, but it is still in bullish territory. If we fall from here, then the 100 moving average should offer support. So should the 50, just, just above the middle of the bullish band, probably as far as this will go. If that basically breaks, then we could also be heading towards 150 moving average all the way down here at 113. So let's look at VTI. So VTI also made um, um, higher highs on, on Friday session. Not significant, but it's going higher. We're kind of in the middle of nowhere here in the Bullinch Band. It could go higher up towards uh, 232. It could also drop towards the 225 level round, right around the, the middle of the Bullinch Band. MACD is bullish, RSI is flat, CGI is bullish, and so is the Stochastic. So this has found support at um, 20 expansion moving average, the 40 and the 50, and uh, those have all been buying opportunities. Uh, so buying the dips, that is kind of uh, the trade here, which has worked really well the last, basically the last year. So let's look at MCHI. So yes, uh, Chinese market is still struggling. It is uh, ran in yet again at the 20 exponential moving average and then fell around half a percent on uh, Friday's session and uh, at the moment it kind of looks like we're heading at least towards the bottom of the bullish band which is from we are where we are at the moment a drop of roughly 4.5 percent to the downside and break below this then we are going to see this market tumble significantly further so Chinese stocks in general are not well are not should be very favorable but they are not at this current stage uh, so they have been very good at technically destroying their own tech sector and sector, and it has definitely not been um, motivating for investors to basically put money into this. And so getting close to resistance levels, this has been sold off quite significantly. So MACD is still uh, bullish in negative territory. RSI is bullish. CCI is flat and or negative. And the stochastic is bearish at this point. But... Still, it looks like it's the same trend. Going towards the middle of the bullish bound, breakdown, bullish bound, breakdown, and yet again. And at the moment, probably won't see this kind of breakdown, uh, but but towards the middle, bottom of the bullish band, that could be where we'll head to. So let's look at IBB. So this was up 0 0.25% and um, yes, continues to rise at the moment. We are getting fairly close to the top of the bullish band. There's still quite a lot of room to the upside, up towards 450. That's where we should find massive resistance. MACD is still bullish. RSI is flat. CCI is very bullish, and so is the stochastic. So pullbacks towards the 50. Down here at 442. The 20, 40 exponential, 436. And the 50 
uh, moving average at 434 that has all that have all been buying opportunities in the past so no reason to basically short this is basically buying the dips that's what the people in this market are doing so hope you find yourself helpful you want to support down by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos and good luck and thank you very much